Dr. Dan, one question I'm often asked is for African American patients, how does a hair transplant work for them given the uh, texture of their hair? And is uh, an FUT strip or a follicular unit extraction uh, best for that patient, or does it uh, differ for, uh, per person? Sure. Um, well, I think in general terms, when you're talking about doing a hair transplant on an African American patient, it could be male or female. There's various things you have to take into consideration. The amount of curl in the hair uh, requires um, a certain type of dissection. You have to be able to handle the hair properly so that it doesn't get destroyed. Um, as a general rule, in my practice, I, I don't think that follicular unit extraction is a good idea for African American patients because of the amount of curl in their hair. It can actually, in some cases, lead to a very very difficult and dangerous complication uh, called folliculitis barbae. So I'm, I'm, I, as, as a rule in my practice, there may be others out there that, that disagree or feel more comfortable with FUE for African American patients, but I myself uh, will not steer a patient in that direction. So if I'm dealing with an African American patient with that amount of curl, it's almost exclusively going to be strip excision. And the reason for that is, is because when you're trying to do FUE, uh, on a patient that has that much curl in their hair, um, it's, it can be very difficult to get that entire graft out. And if you leave a lot of those grafts, you know, transected underneath the hair, or underneath the skin line rather, that, that hair can turn into a, you know, a small abscess, it can turn into an infection, it can turn into an ingrown hair, and uh, that's bad news. That can be a very difficult situation. So generally speaking, from my experience it's almost going to be exclusively strip excision for African-American patients. And then it depends, like any other patient, on the degree of loss that they have, um, the type of loss, whether it's a female patient that has traction alopecia on the sides, which actually can be very easily treated with transplant and very successful. Or is it just a standard you know, male patient with male pattern balding? It, de it depends on the extent of loss, quality of the donor hair, how much can we successfully Harvest? Um, are they going to wear their hair long or short? A lot of, you know, my male uh, patients that are uh, uh, darker skin or darker complexed didn't have a lot of curl in their hair. They they like to wear their hair very short. Um, but as I said, for me personally, I won't do an FUE on an African American patient because of the potential danger that it could put them in with a folliculitis barbae in the back of their head, and that could be a catastrophe. So. I steer clear of that and uh, will typically go towards a strip excision. But that's going to require the patient to have a little longer hairstyle so that, you know, if there's a little thin scar on the back of their head, it can cover that. So there's just, there are a few nuances, but I mean, African American patients are great candidates, you know, if they have the right criteria. They have good donor hair, they're, you know, they intend to wear their hair a little bit longer to cover, a, you know, a you know, potential thin scar on the back. And there's a few other things you have to take into consideration, the type of you know, way that you dissect the hair, the size of the recipient's incision. These are just small variances, but you have to take them into consideration in doing it. Thank you for sharing that.